Hello designers! We're going to create a very basic photo edit on Photopia.com. I'm going to show you how to blend an image of texture with an image of a landscape. By now, you should have already selected an image from Pexels.com or from one of the other stock photography sites that I linked for you and downloaded an image of texture and one of a landscape. You're not using Google for this assignment or for any other assignment. We're only using copyright free stock photo sites. So I'm going to select open from computer on photopia.com and it's going to go to my downloads folder by default. So all I have to do is drag over these two images and select open. You can see the two images opened as two separate tabs in photopia.com and to go through them it's very similar to the way that I would go through different tabs in a web browser. All I have to do is click on the different tabs one at a time. Now this is the image of fur and I want to go and layer this image of fur on top of this image of the landscape. In this case featuring the beach and a dog in a bench. So I'm going to go to the image of fur and I'm going to right click in the layers panel where I can see the background layer showing the image of fur. And when I right click, I have two duplicate options. If I select duplicate layer, it's basically going to make a copy of the exact same layer on top of the original image. So I have two of this exact same image layer. That's not what I need. So I'm going to go and select the delete layer option in the bottom of my layers panel to get rid of it. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the layer and I'm going to select duplicate into and it's going to tell me where I want to go and um, duplicate this particular layer into. So under destination, I have a drop down arrow and I can select which specific tab I want to open to duplicate that layer into. Or if I wanted to, I could go and duplicate it into a brand new document. In this case, I know that the image of the landscape is called Pexels La Mico. So I'm just going to select that and click OK. And you may be thinking, well, nothing happened. But that's not the case because if I go and flip into that other tab, I can see the landscape and then I can see the image of the texture layered on top. Now, I have a minor issue here. The issue is that the image of the texture is not quite the same dimensions as the image of the landscape. So I'm going to fix that by using my free transform function within Photopia. I'm going to go to the edit menu at the top of my screen and select free transform. When I do that, you will see a bounding box surrounding the image. So to make it fit, I'll just go and drag from the corners while holding down shift and my keyboard and the image of the texture is going to start getting resized in a more proportionate manner. I always want to drag from my corners so that the image doesn't look distorted. When I'm happy with the way that I have resized the image, I can either press enter on my keyboard or this check mark in my options bar. Okay, perfect. Now, I can see that I have two layers in my layers panel, but right now I'm unable to see the layer underneath of the landscape because the texture is blocking it. So I can go and toggle the invisibility icon, which looks like a little eyeball and I can make the image layer invisible or make it visible again by clicking the eyeball. All I'm doing is toggling the visibility. So what I want to do is I want to like blend the image of the texture into the landscape. But I can see that the image of the texture has color in it. So before I blend it, I want to take all the color off the image. In other words, I want to desaturate the image. 
To do that is very easy. I gotta make sure my texture layer is selected. And I'm going to go to the image menu at the top of my workspace, select adjustments, and desaturate all the way at the bottom. The desaturate adjustment will automatically make the image black and white and it will no longer have any color. So that when I blend the image, I'm not blending the colors as well, I'm just blending the texture. Next thing I'm gonna do is play around with my blend modes. I can find my blend modes in the layers panel in the top left. You can see that the default blend mode is normal. That means I don't have any blend modes currently applied to this layer. If I click that drop down uh, arrow, I have several different blend modes from which to choose. So all I have to do is click on one blend mode at a time and look at the different effects that are produced when I apply that different blend mode. Some blend modes are gonna lighten up an image and some blend modes are going to darken it or in some instances make make it look like a photo negative using a film camera. So all of these blend modes can be used for different artistic effects. I want you guys to go through all the blend modes until you guys choose a blend mode that you guys like. So I'm going to settle on this blend mode called Multiply. I like the way that it layers the image of the fur on top of the image of the landscape. But I do see right now that it is a little bit overpowering and it's not as easy for me to see the dog on the bench or the beach in the landscape. So I'm going to go to my opacity right over here in the right hand side of my layers panel click the drop down menu and when I drag the opacity slider to the left you guys will see that the image is gradually disappearing and becoming more transparent okay the more I drag to the left the more transparent that image of the texture becomes the more I drag to the right the more opaque the image becomes so I can see it fully so I'm gonna adjust the opacity gradually until I get an effect that I'm satisfied with. So that looks pretty good right now. You can see at the top of my layers panel, I have my history panel, which shows me every single effect that I have done every single thing that I have done to edit this image. So from opening it, to duplicating the layer, to using free transform to resize the image of the fur, to desaturating, to those different blend modes that I was playing around with. If after using the opacity slider, I'm still not satisfied with the image, I can always just go and select a different blend mode. I can always change my mind and select a different blend mode if I'm not happy with my results. Okay, now that I'm happy with how the final image looks, I can go ahead and export my final draft. To do so, I'm going to go to the file menu at the top of my workspace, select export as, and I'm going to export in JPEG or JPG format. Like we discussed in class, this is a very basic image file format for images that you're going to place on the web. Since I have no use for transparency here, I'm not going to select PNG and I'm not creating an animation or um, sending this image to print so there's no need to select either GIF or PDF formats. I'm just going to leave it as a basic JPEG. So I'm going to go to File Export as Select JPEG and wait for the JPEG menu options to open up. 
If I want to, I can actually go and reduce the file size of this image. So I can see right now, um, my image size is set to inches and I had set that earlier because I find it easier to understand than just pixels. You can see the pixel size would be 2,500 something uh, pixels in width and 3,800 something pixels in height. If I go and change it to inches, it tells me it's 32 uh, inches in, in width and 52 inches in height. So I can go and make it smaller if I wanted to, which I would advise you to do if you were loading this into some kind of um, social media website or, or application. In this case, I'm just going to click save because I'm not interested in necessarily going and loading this into any other website. I'm just gonna submit it on Canvas. So after you guys hit save, you guys are gonna go to the downloads folder on your computer. And you guys will see that your image downloaded into the downloads folder. So here are the two originals that I had um, sourced from pexels.com. And here is my final image edit that I created. So I'm gonna open it up and if I'm happy with it, that's what I will be submitting to Canvas. Okay, it looks good and I'm ready to go ahead and submit to this assignment. If you have any questions or concerns as you guys are doing this assignment, you know how to reach me and I can't wait to see what you create.